Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Let's School. Well last time we left things on a bit of a dramatic cliffhanger. So our third year here at Cupboard College has begun and we do have plenty to do. There is an awful lot of things that we do need to get sorted out. But first of all, before we go and do anything else, I think we have to go and do this up here. This is very exciting because down here we have two lots of these rewards that we can now cash in. And they'll give us some money. That's quite nice. Money is always useful. That'll get us maybe closer to about 70,000 monies, which is a good amount of cash. But more excitingly than the money is that just there. We are going to get 400 lovely school score points. And if we look at that just there, we can see that when we cash these in, we are going to go up to the next school level. We are going to become a top district school. That is wonderful. And that means we are going to get these rewards. So we are going to get given 24,000 monies. I mean, is that going to get us very close to 100,000 monies? I think it might do. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then also, we're going to unlock these things down here. These kind of very fancy wonders. They're basic wonders, apparently. So a school library, an observatory, an impressionism gallery, and a general stadium. They are basic wonders, apparently. But I think we might be able to get all of those in because they're only 5,000 each. And we're going to have a huge pile of money. So I think maybe we could get all of those in. So here we go. Here we go. Let's go and do this first, shall we? We're about to become a top district school. Hang on, that's a level six school. I know we looked at this before, but I've forgotten. So level six is good. Then there's a level seven. Then there's an eight. Then there's a shiny star school. Okay, so we are now, I think, going to be past halfway. I think, yeah, when we get up to here, that's six out of, is it nine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so nine is the top one because there's eight there and then it turns into a sort of a fancy shiny thing. So, okay, we are not doing too badly at all. So here we go. Let's get that done right now, shall we? So boop, we'll have those and there we go. We become a level six school and we're actually not too sort of looking too bad in terms of getting up to the next level. That is a good chunk of points that we got there. So we're on 5,645 out of 7,800. And that does look like quite a lot, but they do come in quite quickly. I mean, that comes in pretty quickly now that we've got another class of students. And we're about to get some more students in as well, which is very good. So, yeah, that's looking wonderful. So now, yeah, how do we build these wonders then? How do we build these things? Because I don't quite know how that's going to work. So, okay, confirm that. We now have 93,874 monies. I'm not entirely sure we've ever had that much money before, but that's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so how do we build wonders? Where are they? Where do they fit in the game? I don't know. Are they a thing? Ah, here we go. Yeah, there. So a general stadium. Okay, so can replace the swimming pool or basketball court for sports courses. I mean, that's the one that we don't really want, I would say. I mean, maybe the school library. Danger might be lurking between these ancient bookshelves. They're not that ancient. They're not built yet. They're going to be quite new. Can replace the projection room for humanities courses. Each one can accommodate up to four classes. Okay, so if we wanted to get a library, how does that work? So we click that. Oh my goodness me. Right. They're on... It's on three levels. It's a three-leveled thing. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know where that can fit. Hang on, hang on. If we did some work over here with our vast piles of cash, could we make that work? If we rotate that round, that's that's demolish mode. No, that's that's not what we want to do. Hang on, rotate it round. No, that's not going to fit. It goes outside of our kind of uh, build area there. I guess we could fit something in just here. We could put something just there. That would work. Hang on, so how would we do that then? So we'd have... Is there a bit around the back? No, so you'd have to kind of come straight through. You'd have to, unless we had kind of a little sort of corridor thing. I'd like it to be connected to the inside of the school. I don't really want people to have to come outside of the school to go into the library, because that seems a little bit daft. What if we rotated it round like that? How would that work? Is that okay? I think that's perfect. Hang on a minute. That's absolutely perfect, look. We can have that there. The only thing is... We're going to have to build that up quite high. And that might look a little bit daft. That might look a little bit weird. Because at the moment, that's what the school looks like. It should really sort of go somewhere else. Unless we build all this up anyway. That might all get built up nice and high. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we build that bit up and that bit up as well. Um, I mean, yeah, we need to build on top of that. So it's going to be quite big. It's going to be quite big. Okay, okay, right. Maybe we don't get one of those in 
right now, but we'll ponder it. There are other sort of more important, more pressing things, I would say. And also as well, I think if we are going to have those in, we might need to get yet another little kind of admin management room thing in because it looks to me like they take up 10 sort of management points. So that could be quite troublesome to get all of those in. But okay, right. I know what we need to do. First things first, we need to go down here. We need to get another classroom. We need one of those, but over here, because we're going to get another load of arty students in. The year twos are in there. We now need some new ones coming in, and they've got to go in this classroom. So let's get rid of those windows there. That's fine. So get rid, get rid, get rid. There we go. The money, it's creeping up to 100 grand. We're not going to see it get over 100 grand, because now we're going to spend lots of money. But you know, it's nice we've got that much. That's quite lovely. So I think what we could do is... Um, we can't really clone that because then it's not going to work over here because, of course, they're not going to have you know, a door just here because that's just silly. So I think maybe we're going to have to rebuild a new one of those, but that's absolutely fine. So we can do that. So pop that in and then we'll put the door where we put the door there right on the edge. OK, so put the door maybe just there. Look, do that. And then we'll get all the things in here. One thing we do need to do as well is possibly put some lights around here because it is quite dark around these corridors. It's very dark indeed. So maybe just pop some lights in as well would not be too bad a thing. Um, okay, right. So now I get all the things in. But of course, we can put all the fancy things in. We can put all these fancy things in like the uh, the stylish blackboard with its little kind of electronic screen thingamajig. So we'll have one of those. And already the room is now up to a level two room, I think it is, which is pretty good. Um, and then we'll get the podium. Can we have the stylish podium? Thank you so much. Um, yep, just put that kind of in the middle. That covers the whole classroom. And then student desks. But I think because we have a gigantic pile of cash, we should get some of these in. So we can either get individual ones or double ones. It doesn't really make any difference. So the individual ones provide one desk space, of course, and plus five sort of, a, yeah, prettification points. And the doubles are just double. So it's just 10 and then two seats. Um, do you know what? We've got all the individual ones everywhere else. Let's just keep it like that, shall we? Let's keep it like that. And um, I think they are facing the right way, which is good. So yeah, let's put them over here. So one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Hang on, how have we done it there? Have we done it there? Um, because they're quite... They're sort of pushed up against the door. Oh, yeah, because, of course, the door is there. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on. We might need to turn things around. Because when they're in here, look, the wall where the door is is where the blackboard is at. Ah, okay, right. Turn things around a little bit, please. Can we, can we turn things around? I'd like to... Can I move the thing? Can I move anything? Okay, the game is saying no. The game isn't happy with life. We're going to put that in and it can go, hooray, that room is complete. And then we can put that down. And then I think we can start moving things around. Okay, that's a bit better. So pop that there and then get that and rotate that round and put that there. Okay, and then grab that and then put that, say, there. That'll do. And then we'll have another botheration. Okay, like that. And then, are they now all facing the right way? And then put that in like that. And I think, is that enough? Yes, 25 lovely seats. And it's almost at a level four room without even having to do much else. We've not got anything on the walls or anything. That's very, very good. Um, okay, so now we need to make sure it's got all the other things in, like, you know, lights and heating and all that kind of stuff. In fact, hang on a minute, temperature. We can put a heater in right now because otherwise I probably will forget. So maybe pop that in. Let's pop that in right there, because that's a bit of a silly space otherwise. So, right, got a lovely heater in, um, and then we need to get some of this stuff in. So, yep, cleaning supplies cabinet. That's kind of important. Pop that in over. I kind of feel a bit sorry for the people. Who's going to be sitting in that desk? Because I feel sorry that they've got a great big kind of cupboard in front of them. That's not really ideal, is it? Let's tuck that down there shall we let's put that over there that's quite good um, and then lights of course get some of these in we'll have a couple of the big kind of fancy lamp things um try and put it in the same place as that one over there so drop in a light and drop in a light oh hang on forgot about the fan let's put a fan in so when it does get a bit hot that can kick in okay so i think they're the kind of the basic quality of life things they have to have 
So I think, yep, it's lit, the room's okay, it's all fine. So now we just need to make it pretty and full of lots of lovely things to get it up to a level four room, which I think we can do. So, of course, there's one thing we have to have. There it is. Pop it in the corner. Very good. Um, okay, so what else do we have? I mean, they have got little kind of pictures and things around the place. Um, how about in here, an artistic painting? A painting of Ludwig van Beethoven. Let's pop that on the wall over there. That's good for the... Um, for the aesthetics of the room and then like we have in all the other rooms where's that kind of big fancy promotional poster thing uh we'll pop that maybe next to the picture of beethoven so pop that in 192 out of 205 in fact hang on hang on is that that room could potentially become a level four room if we play our cards right because that's a level three room because they haven't got all the fancy kind of things in it yet. They've not got the fancy desks and podiums and everything else. But that has. It's only, uh, what's that, 12 point? Uh, no. Yeah, no, 12, 13 points. Math with pens. Brilliant. Maybe I should come to this school and learn some numbers. 13 points away from becoming a level four classroom. And we've not seen that before. So, okay, let's add a few more little bits and bobs. Because, you know, there are some essential things. So pop that in. Um, and then, yeah, we've got the lovely painting. Put a painting in at the back. That's quite nice. What else does our classroom have? Um, it's just got a few little kind of knick-knack things. I mean, a slogan board. I don't really know what that is, but we'll put that in. Um, we do want to actually put some bins in because they are quite good. The bins are quite a good thing to have around. Just being you know, tidiness purposes. So we'll put those just there. That's okay. And then in that corner, we do need... Hang on, where's the, um, the PA speaker thing because that helps the art students yes help students in art so we can put that i think really that can go wherever we can just put that on that wall just there and then of course we're also going to be learning humanities so if we then put say a large humanities bookshelf just there that's going to be quite good um what can we do to give ourselves 13 prettification points without having to go through all this sort of stuff um, yeah, we need a lot of, a lot more points to get that sorted. Although we could, we could just put loads of other paintings around. How many more of those do we need? 179. We need, what's, hang on, 50, uh, 79 to 200 is 21. So 71 points, I think, if my math is correct, which it probably is not. So, I mean, yeah, do we get, do we put a picture of Darwin around? Because they're learning humanities in here as well. Pop a picture of Darwin in. And then we only need a handful of points now. Um, is there anything else that we could have that could possibly help us out a bit with that? Um, anything that's just going to give us a big load of these points as well? Because I would like to get that up. I mean, we could put another promotional poster around. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a cheap option though, isn't it? But it would help. Um, what else can we have? A traditional archway. Okay, no, we're not going to go down that route. Um... I mean, the potted plant is quite good, and that would get us over into whatever the top level of the aesthetics is. And it is a lovely plant. Um, okay, sold. We're putting a plant in like that. Um, oh, crikey. You get a lot of points there. We need three. Three more prettification facility points. There must be something in here that gives us three of those. Come on, come on, game. Where are we? What can we have in here that's just going to give us the teeniest, tiniest handful of things? I mean, is it something in here, possibly? Can we get something? A globe. A globe. Okay. Help students in humanities. That's what they're going to be learning in here. That's quite a good thing. Is there anything arty in here? I don't think there is. It's the globe. Okay. How about then we put... Uh, I mean, which way does the globe... Which way does it need to be? I'm not entirely sure which way. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of round, so you should be able to look at it from whichever angle. But does it matter? Does it really matter? I think we put the globe there, and that's going to get this room up to a level four room. I mean, is that the max for a classroom? I have no idea. We're going to pop that there, and there we go. It's a fancy level four classroom. Teaching efficiency, 145%. It's a bit bland. That's a little bit disappointingly bland. I prefer that room. At least the walls have got something on them, something a little bit interesting. It's quite boring in here. Uh, we do need also these. We need to get some lunchbox holders, just in case 
people are bringing their own lunches, which is fine. So we'll put a few of those in as well. So that's pretty good. Um, okay, I think that will do. We have spent quite a lot of money on that classroom, but it's a very fancy Switch classroom now. That's all very good. Okay, so yes, and that's going to be grade one. Okay, right. So now it's going to, yeah, it's going to say there's no staff and all that kind of stuff. We're going to be okay. It's all fine. So hang on, hang on. Where's that gone? Um, hang on, what, what label has that been given? Uh, a frog. Okay. Do you know what? Hang on. Have we got other aquatic creatures? We've got... Ah, oh, yeah. Could we have... Could we... Oh, no, hang on. They've already got a frog. No, they've got a frog. You can't have a frog, I'm afraid. Sorry, no. Um, have a, a turtle, because they're green. They're green things, so you can have a turtle there. Uh, yeah, if we change the bunny to the fish... That would be like an aquatic thing, wouldn't it? You'd have a duck and a frog and a fish. But no, that's okay. You can have a turtle because that looks fun. Right. Okie doke. That's good. That's in. I'm trying to sort of figure out what we need to do next. So now we need to get a teacher. We might need to get some more teachers in because I think at the moment, do we only have one art teacher? I think we can do that. Um, yeah, Scott Mann works in the cafeteria. Martha Jones is a researcher. Although, oh yeah, she's very good at research actually. She's a very, very good researcher. Okay, we'll leave her doing that. So we do need to get another art teacher in. We need to get one of those in. Um, what teachers do we have that are idle? I mean, can we see the idle teachers? It's only got one sport person in. Uh, let's get another art teacher in. We have to get another arty person. And of course, we have to get a load of kids in as well. Um, but first things first, hang on. So art teachers, please. Um, Richard Cox, he's quite good. 50 training proficiency and 40 good grief 42 teaching proficiency already and 44 in research only 20 management so you might need to go on a bit of a course or two um yeah okay richard cox you're in welcome aboard and immediately you can go on a training course you lucky so and so uh yeah you management yes up to 25 that's going to be good and then you can go and work in there so there we go you can be the homeroom teacher of that then we need to go and sort the schedule out hang on so this is class uh three which one is it class one one class one two right that one so they don't have anything going on now okay so what day do they need to be doing their um cleanup we've got friday monday wednesday and Tuesday. Okay, so Thursday is when you go and do some tidying up around the school. That's all fine. And then if we auto that, no students. Well, yeah, I know that, but just auto do the planning. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was a bit annoying. Um, okay, right. So student admission, uh, wealthy suburbs, all five of you lot. Yes, please. Couple of people bring packed lunches. That's all fine. Right. Admit all of those and then go to here. They can all go in to turtle class yeah okay so you lot go into there now can we sort the schedule out please game there we go so auto schedule that so confirm that so the only thing is i can see that becoming a little bit of a problem with them because they've got art in yeah they've got a whole bunch of art in the morning in the first part of the week as have them would it not make sense to do it the opposite way round would it not make sense to do that i'm going to swap it round can we auto it again? If does it do the same thing again? I'm I'm not happy with that. I don't like that. We're going to swap things around. Hang on a minute. Let me just manually go and just sort of uh, change all this stuff because it would make sense to have it sort of reversed. So they're learning different things at different times. Um, yeah. Hang on. Let's just get this done then. So drop all these in, and hopefully there shouldn't be that many problems. I did see that. I think we're going to need to build a new building of some sort, a new room. So like an art studio or something. So that might have to go up on the next floor. But again, we've got a decent amount of cash to do that. So that should be okay. Right, like that. But they need, yeah, they need an art studio, look, to learn their intermediate artistic expression. Of course they do. Um, and we need a humanities classroom. Uh, do you not have a humanities classroom? You're doing ESL writing in a humanities room. And that needs a humanities classroom right maybe when we move time on that might sort itself out but that looks a little bit odd right now but okay um, and then go back to this lot so you need to do your 
Morning Reading for Humanities, and then Morning Reading for Humanities, and then here you can do, do the arty one here, and then do the arty one there. So you're not going to get a boost from those four, but you're going to get a boost of those two for art. Yeah, okay, I'm quite happy with that. That seems okay. Right. That's that sorted. Now we need to get some other kids in. Now a few people in the comments did say that we could possibly get some different children in. Who, yeah, look, they're quite big on humanity. So verse wood. Um, what do we get from them? 272 per person. Whereas if we go to where are we? So um, where are our people? That's our school. Where are the ones near us? Right, ground shear, 68 per person. They are 272 per person, look. Is it not worth getting some of those people in? They're really big on humanities, look. Humanities and science, which is what we do. Um, it might be worth looking at that. I mean, they do science and sport. We're not quite at the point where we're doing sport yet, so we can overlook those. Ground shear is where we go anyway. Um, what about over here? What about this lot? They're quite sporty. That is a celebrity residence. That is art and sport. Right. And then these people over here, they are very sciencey and not very humanities-y. So is it worth getting some of these in? Uh, and they pay 347 per person. Okay, maybe for now, head over here to Versewood, establish a missions office because it's hardly anything. They need a bike shed. Have one of those for ages. So yeah, do that, please. So open those admissions. And there we go. Okay, so we could get some of those in. That'd be quite good. So confirm that. Do they now... Right, they've got two people at the moment. That's not too bad. We'll chuck a little bit of money at you just to say, hello, that's nice. So now we might get five people. And then over at Wealthy Suburbs, can we also chuck a bit of money at you to get that reputation up as well? So that's up at 70. I think we want to max this out, really. Max that out as much as we can do. Okay, right, there we go. So that's pretty good. So they should be sending quite a lot of students. Um, okay, so Versewood will take both of you. So admit you two. And then admit all the ground shear students. How many? Oh, hang on. We've got another goal up here. Increase our admissions number. So we get another 110 of those points. Oh my goodness me. Right, lovely. Thank you. And some money as well. Wonderful. All some things to read. Um, hang on. So then go to here. So you lot are going into duck class yeah okay so that's duck class so how many are now in there there are hang on a second 10 okay so then if we get these ones from mudford because mudford have done well for us we're not just going to turn our back on you entirely mudford everyone gets a chance to learn here at covered college so admit all you lot as well so 10 lots of mudfoders can go into that class and there we go that i think is looking pretty good. And now we have Versewood as well. I mean, we could really go and open up things at all of them, if we can. Is that not worth doing? Now we've got a huge pile of cash. So I think we've got that done. Um, we've got that one sorted. We've got that one sorted. We could just open up a thing there. We don't have to take them. We don't have to take them at all. We can just open up a thing and it gives us options, doesn't it? So they're there. Um, okay, so confirm that, that's good. We don't want any of you because you do sport and we're not quite ready for sport just yet. Um, and then over there, Theatre Boulevard. Okay, so get that done as well. Absolutely. And okay, so confirm that. So we don't want that either. Oh, I'll keep going out of the map thing. Um, and then, I mean, over here, is it worth just doing this? Ah, okay. These are going to need car parks and things, aren't they? Oh, hang on. You don't know. You need a tram station. And of course, we have a tram station. We got one of those last time, which is very good. Oh, hello. Uh, greetings. I'm Headmaster Tokala. I've been around for two and a half thousand years. Okay, if you say so. Even though I've seen a wide variety of people, you've managed to grab my attention, Headmaster. Perhaps you have some un uh, unique traits that set you apart. I mean, maybe. It could be the hair. Our hair is amazing. Hang on. I've just seen something incredible. Hang on a minute. Are we going to go meet a new Headmaster? Because... Who is this? Who, who? There's a pink kind of dog thing. What's going on there? Who are you? Oh, this is fantastic. Headmaster Betty Cupboard. Meow. Hello. I'm Headmaster Popocky from Meow Academy. 
I may look like a doll, but I'm actually a legit headmaster. If you want to come to my school, you got to play by my rules. Otherwise, I can't be held responsible for any mishaps. From Meow Academy, Headmaster Popoki. Where's the Meow Academy? Is it over there somewhere? Where's the Meow Academy? I can't see where Meow Academy is, but okay. So yeah, we've met one, two, three, four, five, seven other headmasters, but we can only see one, two, three, four, five other schools. Okay. Right, so they must be over here somewhere. Um, okay, <laughs> that's a bit of a surprise. Oh, we can get you on board. Hang on a minute, hang on. That's exciting. Do you want to go and get them on board? They're very big on the science, aren't they? They're kind of the opposite of... Where are those guys? Are those guys there? So yeah, they're really big on humanities with a little bit of science. And these guys are very big on science with a little bit of humanities. Do you know what? Yeah, let's get some of those in, please. So at the moment, just three applications per week. That's absolutely fine. And I think we can actually get some people in. We've got two over here. So uh, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness me. We get paid quite a lot. We get paid an awful lot for them. And um, a science prodigy. Okay, so plus 20% intelligence. That's going to be quite good. And they're an ideal student. Okay, they help everyone he befriends. Oh, that's good. And um, yeah, we'll admit you two. So you two can come in and you can both go into that class there. So 22. So we need three more people in that class and we should be okay. Although we are now sort of stretching ourselves quite a bit here. We are pushing ourselves because we've taken all sorts of different students and it's all kind of getting muddled up a bit, but that's quite good. I like the fact that we are sort of, you know, opening up to a wider area. Um, do we want to get any more on? So they are sporty, I think, aren't they? We don't want to do that one. Used all those. They are they're free to admit, are they? Oh, hang on. Explosive temper. Okay, we're not going to go for those guys because they sound troublesome. And there's no other kids. Okay, do you know what? That's okay. We're okay for now. It's all good. I'm quite happy with how that is. Right, okay. Uh, right, a few things up here. That is... Um, Okay, yep, that person's saying, yep, you've recruited some people, that's good. Wealthy suburbs, I never thought anything of it. Relax, I won't fight with you over it. Okay, I wasn't expecting a fight, okie doke. And the students of Finch Bay are so talented, I'm a little jealous. Okay, so yeah, it's you again, okay, but we like you, we're happy with you. Your relationship with the communities will affect the number of applications received per week. Okay, uh, yeah, we've done that. Mizzling, we've done that. We've done a lot of that. We've put a lot of money into local communities. We're all okay with that, thank you. Um, right, but now, do we have some technical issues up here? Have we possibly pushed ourselves a bit far? Exam failures, it says there. Um, estimated exam failures, one. Why? Why is that? Um, we do need to get the art studio in. And, yeah, that's a bit confusing. Required humanities classroom. We might need to get the computer room in because the computer room can stand in as anything. Okay, so estimated fails, one. Okay, so you just there, the ideal student, uh, more science knowledge points required. Okay, okay, we can work on that. We can try and work on that. Oh, they need 88 of them. Oh, oh, right. Okay, yeah, they need an awful lot of sciencey stuff going on. Um, right, okay, that's fine. Okay, we can work on that. So I think... Now, what we have to do is, let's maybe, let's maybe just tick time on ever so slightly. How are we looking with all this stuff? So the classrooms are all in B house office. That's okay. Facilities looking a little bit overworked. And the headmaster office also being pretty much pushed to breaking point. Okay, we're going to have to get another management room in. We need to get that done. Because that's just not really working very well, is it? It's not working. We might need one for specialist classrooms. So the physics lab and the biology lab and the humanities classroom and the computer room that we're going to have. I think you know, we might need another room for those. That's going to be quite good, I think. But OK, right. Tick time on ever so slightly. Let's get people coming in. Are people coming in via the tram? Some people are biking in along here, look. They're biking in, which is very exciting. Right, here's a tram. Here's a tram. That's on the other side. And people... Hang on a minute. That's not how that works. You don't walk across the tracks. That's very dangerous. Do not walk across the tram tracks, please. Don't go on train tracks. Very, very dangerous. 
Okay, so run time on. We've traveled far and wide trying to find somewhere to learn. We've finally found Cupboard College. We'll study as hard as we can. Okay, right. So school satisfaction decreased to medium. Hang on, hang on. People of Theatre District don't want to study in a school without a single artistic bone in its body. Of course, we will push Cupboard College to greater heights in the world of art. I don't think we have any Theatre District people here, to be honest. I don't think they need to worry. Oh, crikey. Education is more akin to lighting a spark than filling a bucket of water. Thank you so much, Cupboard College, for giving us this chance. You'll see great returns when it comes to admissions. Okay. I've had an idea for how we can possibly sort out the issues over here with the person that might potentially be failing their exams. Could we upgrade all the things in this room? Can we give them fancier seats and fancier everything else? I think we can because we have got a load of money. So I think we upgrade all the desks. That's going to help. So teaching efficiency, 140%. So if we can get that up to 145, that's going to be quite good. The only thing is it's a bit fiddly doing this. It doesn't always kind of fit in when you do the upgrade thing. Although I do quite like the fact the upgrade thing is here. I like the fact that it's an option. You don't have to sort of delete things and re yeah, replace them. You can just click on them to upgrade them. But yeah, it does take a little while. But get all those done. Obstacle. Oh, you're sitting down. Oh, no, that's not very good. Okay, hang on a minute. You might possibly... There's an obstacle in that. Oh, no, there's not. Hang on a minute. There's there. And then there's that one. But yeah, you are an obstacle. Oh, no, we've upgraded it around you. Hooray! <laughs> Your desk just kind of magically upgraded itself. That's quite fun. Right. Okay. So now I think, ah, I see a problem here with this. So pick the red flag thingamajig up and just move that around. And then I think what we need to do is we can now go to here and upgrade the board. There is going to be a plant in the way, but we're okay with that. We like plants here. That's all good. 178 out of 205. Then we need to do the podium. Okay, so have a bigger, fancier podium. 195 out of 205. Again, very, very good. Uh, and then what else can we do? What's that? That, I think, is a medium humanities bookshelf. Why can't we have a large one? That's the question I'm asking. Um, maybe if we move that thing, move that onto the wall. Just yeah, put it there. Just, just pop it there. That'll do. That's all fine. So move that over. And then we can get rid of that and then put in that for 50 points. So that's got to be good. So drop that in. So now we're stylish. 200 out of 205. And then we just need some final few touches. Um, I mean, is it worth... Hang on. What do we need? I can't see the point. 250 is what we need. 250 points. Or... Just another five points, sort of, you know, flat facility score points. I don't think we can get that easily, but we could possibly just get ourselves... Hang on, what are we on now? We're on about 100, so we need around 150 points. We could put a picture of Einstein in, because everyone loves a picture of Einstein. Um, we haven't got that much wall space. However, hang on a second, hang on. Those windows can go. We can get rid of those. Because there's going to be another classroom there at some point. So they can all go. So, okay, farewell windows. And then, here we go. Pictures on the back wall. Picture of Einstein, because that's sciencey. Picture of Darwin. And we are now some points away, but I can't see how many. <laughs> We're quite close. We're quite near to getting that up. And then I think when we do that, that will up the facility score. Um... Okay, right, hang on. We must be able to work out how that's going to function. Um, also, hang on. Do we get points Do we get points from better doors? Can we have Can we have nicer doors? Okay, do that. I think that gave us some points for doors there, which is quite good. Um, yeah, these look nicer, don't they? These look a bit better. Um, okay, right, there's got to be a thing we can do. Unless we just go down... Yeah, what about these things? There's only two... Uh, yeah, Beethoven painting. But again, we could just put uh, pictures of famous people at the back. Okay, there we go. That's now a tier four classroom. 145% teaching efficiency. Has that helped with the learning of that kid any? Estimated exam failures still here. Bother. Okay, right. We might have to do something about that. 
Um, okay, science teachers. How are we looking, science teachers? Can we all go and do some learning of stuff? Can we all become better at our jobs? So teaching proficiency, you're a science teacher, you... Um, hang on a minute, are you a science teacher? Yes, you are. Yep, you can get sort of better at that as well. That's very good. And over here, another science teacher, Martha Malone, the science teacher. Yes, you can also have teaching proficiency up. That's going to help. And then we do also have our room over here. Let's go into there, open a thing, and here we go. Any more science teachers? You're a cafeteria assistant. Susan Turner, facilities director. You're a researcher. Um, I think that's it. I think that's about it. Okay, right. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, do we just get Harold Murphy sort of better at his job, possibly? He's got 29. Yeah, up to 24. We've got the money. We've got the money. Okay. So hopefully that will help. Tick time on a little bit. Let's just see what's going on. I mean, it's getting very busy. The school is really, really busy now. That's going to be really annoying, that little nagging thing there saying, oh, however, this is going to be exciting. How about a new speech? Because we can go in here, look in our fancy proper assembly hall. We've never had a speech in here before. And we get more topics which means we could possibly get a higher score, which means people are going to get different kind of things. Okay, so we're on 15 out of 100. Of course, we do the friendly opening because that's what we do. Welcome back up to 30. That's pretty good. Talk about academics, life or teachers. Um, which one of these is going to be better? Talk about study plans. I mean, that might help. That might help. Let's go for that. Probably not the most exciting thing. 30 up to 40. Okay, people seem happy with that. And right, topic one. So commend. Praise the exam results. Consolers who didn't do well. But yeah, those two don't make sense. So yeah, commend. So I'm very happy with how amazingly everyone did. Up 15 points. Proud. Right, so holistic growth. I hope to see everyone's average scores to increase across all subjects. Humanities and science up by five. That might possibly help with the students who are looking at doing the sort of difficult science stuff. But then strength and sciences is increased intelligence. That could be quite good. That's to do with looking at your own behaviour. And I think these ones here we're not so bothered about. Um, oh, which one do we do? Generic humanities and science. I think we're okay for humanities. Let's strengthen our sciences. Let's do that, I think. Everyone should put more effort into science. Oh, boo. People didn't like that. Um, and now we have... Okay, talk about life. Let's have a chat with life. Let's talk about life at the school. Back up to 55. And then we can flatter their looks, throw a tantrum or apologise. Okay, no, praise. Praise. Praise the looks. Everyone looks absolutely fantabulous. 50 up to 70. Okay, good. Um, Serene, strive for another week of positive vibes. I like it. 70 up to 75. Everyone's calm. And then do the heart gesture because that's what we do because that's Betty's thing. 85 out of 100. Okay, that went very well. So 44 students are now going to get the rational buff and 64 are going to be serene. Okay, that's very good. The background's doing a bit of a weird glitchy thing, but that's okay. Right, there we go. Time for a picture with the other lot. Again, we're outside. Let's do... Uh, let's do open arms like that. Yay, there we go. Do you know what? That's fine. Yeah, we're done. And everybody remembers their days here at dear old Cumber College. Absolutely, they do. Right, everyone filters out of here. Apart from a few of the teachers just kind of hanging around. Okie doke. Right, let's see how this is all going to get on then. So yeah, my concern is the one person that's going to struggle over here. Is there something we can do to help them? Is there a thing that we can do to help that student who might not pass? Hang on. Where are they? So if we go to there, we can see who it might... Oh, no. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, okay. That's good news. Um, I don't think it was you, was it? It wasn't you. Who was it? Uh, it might have been... Was it you? Yes, I think it was you. Um, but no, you're now looking okay. You're looking okay. Maybe because of the two buff things you got from the thing we just did. Okay, that's pretty good. So I think now all we need to do is get the art studio in and then possibly the computer room as well. Let's go and get an art studio. Let's go up here, look, onto this floor. Can we get an art studio? 
Um, I mean, do we expand in that direction to get it? Have our sort of, sort of, I don't know, humanities and sciencey stuff over here, because we still have to get a projection room, I think, for the um, for the science thing going on, for the humanities going on. So maybe we have all that other stuff over here. That could be a plan. Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. So we'll build that bit up, and then we'll build all of that bit up. And that bit there as well, because that's silly not to do that bit. And then also, because we can, we'll do that too. If, hang on. If we're doing that, I might as well just bring that out like that then. And then, uh, is that going to leave enough room, enough money, sorry, to do the thing? Do you know what? It's done now. We'll commit to that. That gets a lot of building work done, which is wonderful. Um, and also, hang on. Just remembered something that I said over here. Uh, let us go to furniture, lights. Let's get some lights around here. Fluorescent lamps. So 1,650 monies. Although, we've got those. Hang on, how much light do they cast? Uh, 15 or oh, 15 lovely sort of uh, aesthetics points, but also 20 light points, which is probably quite good. So pop one of them there. That can light that bit quite well. Pop one, maybe in the middle like that, to light that bit okay. And then maybe one of those over there. I am wary of spending all of our money on unexciting lighting solutions. Um, and then put one... Uh, I don't know. It's going to look a bit naff where it goes. Just there will do. So in that corner. So I think that should be okay. I think that should be okay. Right. Okay. 27 grand. Let's run time on a little bit then until all that building work is done. And then we're going to cross our fingers and hope that the shop and the cafeteria are successful this time around as they were in the last semester or two, because they have done very well for us. So hopefully that's going to fly up. I suspect we're going to need around about, what, maybe 35, 40 grand to get the art room in. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, continue training more of that please yeah get more of that you need to do more management stuff so um yeah i think we might have to wait a little while to get all that in we did get some money back from the roof sections that's quite good um yeah okay right let's wait for the money to pour in how are we going to do this though so if we go to here and if we get us where is it art room i'm just going to search oh there you go art studio so where are we going to put this so these ones here they are, hang on, so they are 8 by, are they 8 by 8? 8 by 8, okay. So I think, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, well if we did that like that, oh no, that's a bit naff, isn't it? There's going to be a really thin bit just there, but then, oh no, oh that's going to look really naff. If we do it like that, look, it's going to be level, it's going to be flush with the end of that bit, with the infirmary. But then it's going to have one little tiny narrow gap, which looks untidy. But then if we do that, it's not flush with the edge of that. Joe, we're going to do it like that anyway. We'll have it nine by nine. Four and a half grand to get that in. Uh, do you know what? We might be right. We might be able to afford this. And then in there, we'll just put, we'll put a window there. And then we'll just put a little kind of, a little, maybe like an eating area. We'll put some vending machines and some benches and things. It'll make it look nice. Right, put the door there. Right, and then a blackboard we'll put at the back. And then we've got student desk. Right, still life paintings. Oh, there's loads of extra bits. Okay, right, so the student desks, I think, are easels, are they? Is that what this is? Is that now a student desk? Hang on, which way round do they need to go? They need to go that way. So I think that's the student desks. We haven't got any fancier ones, I don't think. But there is an awful lot of stuff that we can put around in here. Okay, that's good. So if we say we need 25 of these, there's plenty of room for that. Hang on. We can go like that, look. Three, four, five. So we can put 25 of those like that. Boop. 25 desks. But then, yeah, we need all these things in as well. So we've got still life station. Okay, so we can put those. We'll have one there. And then we'll have one. Is that, is that a still life station? That's a prom... Hang on. These are different... Oh, that's a rubbish version. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We want the fancy versions. Yeah. We'll have that there and that there and then the fancy one in the middle getting in the way of the board, which is quite fun. Right. So that room, 
is now okay. That room is a valid room. I mean, yeah, we need lights and heating and such, but it's a valid room in terms of the objects. But now we can just throw more bits in. So hang on a second. First things first, important things. Um, cleaning cabinet over there. Put some bins over here, because that's also important. Um, and then we will get the obligatory plant. Put that in the corner. You can draw that if you want, kids. That's fine. Go and sketch that. That'd be nice. And then what else do we put in here? Uh, I mean, arty things. Where's, yeah, artistic painting, Ludwig van Beto. I put a picture of that there, because that's quite fun. That's going to be quite good for that. If we could get that up to a level three room, that'd be fantastic. Um, however, temperature. So put a fan sort of in the middle and then put a heater on the side over there. I think we've still got enough sort of uh, boiler pressure or whatever to keep that going. That's good. And then lights. Lights are going to help, aren't they? That's going to be useful. Um, how about one there and one there? Okay, so the size is okay, just. The lighting is suitable, that's fine. And it's gone into stylish. Okay, so now it's just all these things. It's all the decor stuff that we can throw in. So promotional poster is eight points already. So just put that there, 107 out of 135. And then what are all these things? So we've got, oh yeah, does that go there? That is a, that's a stylish blackboard. Does it, does it fit in this room? Why is it here? That seems a bit weird because we can't put it down, look. Uh, must press against the wall, unable to place, hang on, what was that? Uh, more blackboard in art studio. Oh, so can we get rid of that one? Uh, hang on, we'll try it. Get rid of that and then put that in like that. Oh, that is one of those. Oh, okay. That was a big old waste of time then. Um, art storage rack. Okay, that wall can be for storage. Okay, so rotate it round. So one, two, three kind of storage things over there. And then we've got a pile of jars. Okay, I like that. Just a random pile of jars thrown in. We need 20 more points to make that work. Art clutter. Okay, that's also quite fun. We'll put that in the corner. That's good. And then a spare easel. Okay, so more supplies can go over here. Look, so a couple of spare easily bits and bobs. Oh, we must be able to get 13 more points. Um, what else can we throw in? Uh, another two of these for a thousand monies. Just a little bit aware that we are not looking good in terms of money anymore. Uh, these can be backups, look. So we'll put them, we'll have that one there as a kind of reserve and then we'll have that one there as a reserve as well and then we just need three points one of these gave us three another art clutter thing uh okay do you know what put that oh over there doesn't really go to there put it there that's quite good isn't it so drop that in boop it's maxed out current efficiency 120 percent yes and it's got all the things in as well it's got lights and heating and everything else. We could even, hang on, we could have a window. We could have some lovely windows up here. How about just a lighting window? Yeah, just one there and one there. Just to let natural light into the room. Because, you know, it's an art room. That's probably quite good. Okay, we have an art studio. That's very exciting. Okay, and we have no money at all now. Once upon a time, we had nearly a hundred grand. Remember that? Ah, oh, they were happy days. Okay, but there we go. So now we should see, I think, tomorrow, I think it was, people coming into here and doing some arty stuff. That's going to be quite exciting, isn't it? Okay, how are we looking? Someone did just come in. They came in. Oh, they're doing... Oh, they're catching a bug. Were they catching bugs? For... Are, the, are the plants, are the lemon plants got bugs on? The kids go and catch with their nets. That's quite fun. Um, okay. I'm quite happy with how things are looking at the minute. It's looking very good. Um, your training is complete. Money-wise, might be pushing it. Okay, confirm that for now. That's okay. And yep, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll keep you at that. No one's complaining about kind of management sort of stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, hang on. Pause time. Can we get some more students in from... Where are we? Wealthy suburbs. Not quite yet, but in one hour, we will be able to. Okay, do you know what? Actually, just keep an eye on this. Let's just have a look. Boop. Five of them. Okay. That's good news. Yeah, okay. Admit all of you from 
wealthy suburbs. Uh, hang on, someone's being a nuisance. Reprimand you, stop it. And right, you can all go into there. Make sure it's the right one. So you can all go into there, which gives us how many people in that class now? Ten people. Okay, so that's going to have more than that class. That's good. That's good news. And then over here, I want to get just two, was it? Was it two people? Three people. Okay, so where did... Yeah, you lot are really clever. You lot are very clever. Um, yeah, memory plus 20%. Okay, right. So we'll admit you and admit you. And then maybe... Uh, oh, you. Yeah, you can come in from Archimedes Berg. So we get a decent amount of money for you. And you're a science prodigy. Okay, so now I've got three very smart science people going into there. So you can go into duck class. Okie doke. Things looking good. Estimated exam for... No, not exam failures. Willie Foster not quite getting enough science. We'll sort that out. We'll sort that out. That's okay. We can work on that. Right, confirm the training. It's all looking pretty good. Uh, oh, hang on. We now don't have enough entertainment or enough drinking water. I suspected something like this might happen. Right, over to the playground. We need to get this sorted out, I think. So go to here. Uh, right, rejig the playground a bit, please. We're going to move those a bit closer to each other. So we can have a few of these. So another seesaw. And just for the sake of it, do we just chuck some more in? Uh, play. Hang on. Have we got a playground sandbox? Is that a new thing? I think that might be a new thing that we've unlocked. Hang on a minute, hang on. We need to put these over here. Move those things over to... No, 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 no. Not that. <laughs> Move the little things, not the entire structure. Um, put that there. Yeah, can we put that in like that? Because that's 10 entertainment points. And that's really quite good. If we put, I don't know, that there. Right, entertainment sorted and a little bit spare okay tick that good stuff and then drinking water okay so build a facility to resolve the tea room but also can't we put down these uh oh, the, oh it's washing the outdoor sink is washing okay so the tea room so we've got to modify the tea room have we is there not anything else that gives us gives us drinking water hang on is there a thing in here for drinking water yeah there um there are there's oh yeah there's those water stations hang on hang on yeah let, where are they they must be in here somewhere where are those things okay i filter the items on water and there they are so they're quite cheap they're only 100 monies a piece and they do give us 10 drinking water points so i think we dot a few of these around i mean we haven't got one over here there are some other kind of things over there there's you know the sink and such so it might make sense to put one over there so that will sort the issue out but we could just put a few more around. We could just dot a few more of these around just because they're quite handy things to have. I mean, we'll put one over there. That's quite good. Could we put one in here? One in the sort of student lounge thingamajig? Is that worth doing? Can we just... Oh, not there. We can't have one, though, unfortunately. Um, or along there. Okay, no, they can't go there because it doesn't really fit in there properly. But okay, that's good. Uh, there are some out there. Oh, yeah, hang on. We have to go and sort that out as well at some point. Hang on a second. There is a little job for us to do over there. We'll put one there as well. Um, yeah, that's plenty. That's absolutely loads. That's okay. In fact, you know what? We haven't got any up here at all, have we? There's nothing up here. So why don't we... Yeah, if we're going to turn that into a little kind of fancy area, why don't we start that with a thing like that? There we go. That's pretty good. That's a nice start up there. And um, okay, that's sorted. Right, come out of, uh, hang on, come out of that thing. Um, yeah, go back down here. We do have a little job to deal with over here because, um, yeah, a few people point this out in the comments. That door's obviously blocked. That's a bit silly, isn't it? So hang on, we're going to move those things over. There we go. Everything's sorted. And we could put some more things along here, actually. We could put some more things along here just to sort of fill that gap. There we go. Just a bench and a plant and a cleaning cupboardy thing and a little kind of rotor of who's doing the cleaning when, which is quite good. So there we go. That's lovely. That's all sorted out. And people can now use that door again, which is good. How is the shop doing? Just a quick check. Um, yesterday's income was 21,000 monies. How about the cafeteria income? Just about 10 grand. Okay, the shop is doing way better. It's doing way better, but okay, that's really good. Right, I think then, let's get through to the end of today 
and then we'll see what we can do with these students over here that might possibly be struggling a little bit. We'll try and help them out because we don't want people to be struggling. We want them to be comfortable here and they want to be you know, learning and doing well and feeling positive about things. So we'll do what we can for them. Okay, that's all very good. Um, we might possibly go to one of the shops and buy, you can buy like books and things to help them out, can't you? So that might be quite good. So confirm that. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. But uh, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow, I think, because now it's sort of home time and stuff. So right, here we go. Let's fly through to the next day and then we'll go shopping to try and buy something to help that kid over there do some better sciencing. Okay, brand new day. Let's go and help out a bit. One times one is one. I'm glad we're teaching them the really clever stuff. That's good. I mean, I could do with some of this. So nine times nine is 81, though. Why that person is saying so katoa at the back there and that person there is saying to prove a parallelogram. So you've got one times one is one over here, you know, basic stuff. And then that person there is trying to work out how you prove a parallelogram. I mean, prove what about it? Did it do something it wasn't supposed to do? And you're trying to prove that it's you know, guilty of something? I don't know. What do you mean? It's like saying, how can you prove a square? I, I don't get it. Okay, whatever the case. Right, let's find the person over here. Then. So who is going to struggle? So, oh, there's a couple of people, actually. So you, so Willie Foster struggling with science and then over here edward white ah going back to struggling with science okay so we need some things to help kids do sciencey stuff okay so where can we go for that there is some stuff we can do so is it here um okay books can we get a book that helps kids with science oh hang on a minute what does it do um increases art increases humanities sports knowledge increases sports box experiment kits can be handed out to students at weekly assembly, increases science. Oh, okay. We're going to miss the boat with that one, I think. We could buy some anyway. We could buy... Uh, that's quite expensive. We'll buy one box. Okay. So that's in the headmaster's inventory. Uh, ah, there you go. That's what we want. Increases science knowledge of all students in the area. Okay, so buy one of those then. Let's see how that works. So that goes into our inventory. So we've got our book over here. So, oh, hang on. Where are they? Where are the two kids who are having a bit of a tricky time? Uh, let's have a quick look. So whereabouts are you actually sitting, I think, is the issue. Um, okay, well, that's it's not ideal game. I want to see where they are sitting. I need to see where they're currently being seated. Hang on, we're going to try and work it out from here then. So Edward White... And Willie Foster. Okay, but hang on a minute. We're going to click on all the kids to figure out exactly where they are, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. We're going to do this because yeah, it's important. Their education is our priority and also big piles of money, but their education is also very important. So whereabouts are they sat? Come on, you two, show yourselves. Okay, so Edward White is right there in the corner and then a couple of seats in front of them is Willie Foster. Okay, so I think now we can deploy that thing. So deploy the science question bank to increase science knowledge of all the students in the area. Okay, so that will encompass some other kids, but it will also, more importantly, get the two that we're looking at. So, okay, do that then, please. Has that helped at all? So what's that going to do? So I imagine, is that going to slowly creep up a bit now? Are they going to learn that a little bit better? I'm not entirely sure, but okay, now that's good though. They are still trying their best. They're still trying their hardest which is good. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe come back and check again. Although, hang on. Who's teaching this? Russell White. Russell White, do we want to get you better at teaching? Because that might help a bit. Hang on, where are you? Russell White. Um, homeroom teacher. Okay. It's going to cost quite a bit to get your teaching proficiency up, but I think it's probably worth doing. Um, although, hang on. No, that was just the... That was just the sort of regular class meeting. But he might teach them anyway. So, Joe, get that done. It's two grand. We've got 29, almost 30 of it. So, okay, get that done, please. Russell White, become better at doing the stuff. That'd be quite good if you'd be so kind. And then I think we are going to get another management room in because we have to get one in over here. It, we are going to struggle without it, I feel. So, I think go to here. Oh, yeah, look, we can't have anything else. We have to sort of split it out of it. We need some more management capability. So, okay, get this in. Hang on, let me just sort this room out. It takes a little while to get these in, but let's just get this all sorted, put things in, make it look all lovely with lighting and everything else. And then, um, yeah, we'll get somebody in here to work 
and then we'll try and figure out exactly what we want it to be managing. Okay, there we go. That's all sorted out. All the right bits and bobs are in. And currently it's a level two facility. I think the others are the same as that, aren't they? So hang on a minute. Confirm that. Oh, okay, hang on. New department management already established. Oh, okay, hang on. We've got to change this round, have we? Hang on a minute. Um, What do you want this to be looking at? What do you want this to be doing? I think maybe, maybe... We want this to be looking at sort of specialist rooms, specialist kind of um, uh, teaching rooms. So like the art studio and the biology lab and all that kind of stuff. So maybe, um, yeah, maybe that look, that could be quite fun for specialist rooms. Let's call it that. Okay, not managed department three. Um, so specialist teaching. Let's call it that. Or, or just specialist teach because we can't fit ing in apparently um they can be the the director seems a little bit lardy da doesn't it um not the director how about the uh the manager that'll do that sounds a bit better oh we have to pick a person now do we oh okay that's a bit of a nuisance we did get charles malone in because of that didn't we we got them in um because yeah i mean they're okay they're not great as a teacher but they could do some good management work and we got them in because they did have that kind of basic qualification they had that thing there so i mean yeah do we just get you in um yeah we've got a few idle teachers just sort of hanging around um so yeah maybe we do maybe we do get you in yeah do you know what okay charles malone in you come you are qualified it's either you or martha oh Okay, hang on. Charles Malone or Martha Malone? Um, management 24 for Martha, 24 for Charles. They are very, very evenly matched. Um, I don't know. They're both 24 years old. 20, I mean, it doesn't really... Hang on. 33 potential for Martha, 37 for Charles. Okay, so we could potentially go a little bit further. Okay, Charles, because of that, you're coming in. Okay, so that's done. Uh, oh, management module. Okay, right, here we go. So what do we want for this? This is just going to be about, yeah, it's kind of not really art facilities. It's these specialist rooms. I mean, by the look of this, by the look of this, it wants you to have kind of like the science faculty and the humanities faculty and that kind of stuff. But I don't think we're going to kind of work it like that. Um, okay, which one brings down the, brings down the sort of management points? Which one is that one? Hang on, one of these does that because we've got it elsewhere. So hang on, which one is it? I think it might be that one. I think it's that management cost of managed departments down by one. So if we do that and say done, okay. Oh, that research is complete as well. Crikey, so okay, hang on a minute. Um, Close and pause. Pause for now, hang on a second. Right, so the headmaster office is completely overworked. It's all getting very busy. So specialist teaching so if we then say okay where are we so right humanities classroom that can go into there okay they can look after that the biology lab that can go into there and then we need to zoom out a little bit we've got the art studio that can go under there and we have the physics lab okay so they're looking after those that's kind of balanced things out a little bit again which is good so if we could can we maybe move some more things around again? Because, yeah, facilities shouldn't really have the research room in. I don't see that as a facility. Facilities like, yeah, the loos and, you know, the staff break room and such like. Don't really, and, yeah, the shop, look, we should have, like, another office for profit-making stuff. The bike shed, I suppose, is a facility, I guess. Student lounge. That's not specialist teaching, I suppose, is it? Okay, that's looking better for now. So there's a capacity for the headmaster and everything else looks good. Right. Okay, so are we picking the right thing? Is that the right thing we've picked? Um, yeah, I think they've all got... Oh, you haven't got that one. But you've got the teaching efficiency increase. Okay, that's good. But I know this one here does say it allows the department to care for the campus cats. But is it not worth possibly changing that to a slightly different one? Which might be a little bit more useful. And then maybe have the cat one somewhere else? I don't know what good that does. Does it not make Joe what? Well, that's fine. We're going to leave it. Someone's got to look after the cats. Maybe eventually we could put that over into the specialist teaching thing. But uh, yeah, they need to get there with the certificate first. So, okay. Do you know what? For now, that's okay. You can continue to look after the cats for now. It would be good if we could get that in. So yeah, management costs come down by one for each of those. 
So that would free up five more points for Bee House Office. But okay, okay, that's looking good. Right, research, crikey, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. We can now get a, uh, so like a student guidance office or whatever it was. Good grief. Education, I think. Advanced sports course we're not going to do right now. I think let's get corporate culture. Let's get that in, shall we? Let's begin that research because that gives us some exciting bits and bobs. And um, hang on a second. We can get 51 points for that. Thank you so much. We can get a great big pile of money and points for that. Coming up to 6,000. Okay, so yeah, we're getting there slowly, but surely we are working our way along there. And I think it might be time to send some people on a little bit of an adventure, which is exciting. So, um, ah, the only thing is... We can't send them on any kind of map and covering stuff because we haven't got school reform level three done yet. So they're both going to have to go to just some random places and have a little look around. Um, there's a cultural centre just there. So maybe... Oh, and you see, now it's complicated. When we had the three classes, it was okay. But now we've got five classes. So which ones do we send? Which ones should go out and about for a bit of a sort of a, a lovely field trip? I think it should be the class twos. The class twos should still go out, I think. So, yeah, these guys didn't go out last time, did they? So they're the arty ones. So you can go to the cultural centre. That sounds quite good. So send them over there. And then, yeah, we can send another team out as well. So if they're going there, why don't we send the other ones over to that thing? They can go to the square. So, um, yeah, they can go there. Class two one can go to the square. Okay, right, lovely. Run time on nice and quick. Let's get that done. Still a bit concerned about the uh, exam failures. We don't want them to be failing their exam. So maybe at the end of today, we'll have a look at what else we can do about that. But yeah, that is a bit of a concern, isn't it? That's a little bit of a concern. Um, I mean, yeah, are you training? Are you training up? Oh, you're Kenneth Baker. Okay, yeah, it's hard to work this out, isn't it? When are they doing their science? When are you... Cla oh, which one are you? Class 1-1. One, one. You've done some science. Right, a whole day of science tomorrow. Hopefully, that will help the two. Oh, hang on. There are now no estimated fails. Uh, okay, that's this is all very confusing. But okay, maybe it's looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner and they've just... So yeah, the penny has dropped and they can suddenly do some good science. I don't know, but okay. Right, run time on pretty quick. Ooh, ooh hang on a second. Hang on. The art room. Is it in use? When does that get used? I would like to see that being used because that was exciting. Hang on. Um, oh, no. We need to put a computer in before that lesson. Um, art student. Oh, coming up. Pretty much imminently. They're going to come up here and do some art in the art studio. Okay, so they should be here now. They should be here. Um, okay, I mean, the teacher's here. Are you not lacking the students uh yeah do the kids not want to come up here and you know, do the learning where are they um oh hang on who is it who who which which oh, oh botherations they're the ones who've just gone away on a field trip oh no <laughs> okay never mind they're just in here on their own just yeah, enjoying the enjoying art anyway and just pretending to talk to them. they're practicing it's practicing it's all fine well done you okay we might have to wait a while to see that. There is something here we can build lifestyle. What's kind of flagged up there? Why is that flagged up? Oh, the student guidance office. Okay, we'll have to get one of those in as well, I think. But really, I think we do need to get a computer lab in. Just to sort of cover uh, cover things off when we can't um, sort of have all the specialist rooms. Uh, where is the computer lab? Uh, just there. So we can only have one of those in. Um, a multifunctional classroom where many courses could be held. I mean, I'm thinking those rooms are 64, aren't they? So how big is... Hang on, how big's that? That's 6 by... Uh, I can't see how how long that is. Hang on, don't do that then. How long is that? How long is that? Hang on, hang on. That's 6 by 10. So it's only 4 squares shorter so I think we do get that in. But okay, right. We won't do it now. We're not going to do it now. Let's get through to the next day. Spend the money on the wages and everything else. And then we'll see what money we have left. We should have enough money to get a computer room in, I think. But we'll just make sure. Okay, the third day of the semester has begun. But did we just miss the chance to get some more students in? 
did we miss that chance? Because, yeah, there's still some kids who want to come in. Hang on. Wealthy suburbs. Five. Admit all. Oh, no, we can. We can get them in. Okay, that's good news. Okay, that's very good. I thought we'd forgotten. I thought we'd left it too late because there is a cutoff. I just can't quite recall what the cutoff is. Right, you lot. Um, yeah, go into, go into turtle class. Right, so then I want 15. So that's good. So they'll carry on to the next year and then we'll get another classroom in and we can get more students in. So, okay, okay. The numbers are looking good. I'm quite happy with the numbers. That's all looking fine. Uh, right, get time ticking on until that's done. Yeah, we've got a big pile of money. A huge pile of money. We could build a big old computer room if we wanted to. But let's get that dispatch team sorted first because they've nearly arrived at wherever it is they're going to go. Hang on a second. Any time now. Right, there we go. So, what's happening here? Right, the square is bustling with activity. Um, you are... You are frog class. Okay, so you're not the arty students. So you can go and do some... Uh, ooh, what could you do? Could you do some mental math for science? That might be quite good. Although we are lagging behind on humanity. So do riddles again. Do riddles. Everyone loves a riddle. And then the others are... What, just under halfway to their destination? So I think we'll run time on and get them there, I think. That'd be quite good. And just a quick look at that. We can see that it's looking... It's looking very good. Look at that. 22 out of 25 students passing there. Um, 0 out of 15 passing in that class at the moment. But I think that's because I've only learned half the stuff they're going to learn. They've had a very humanities-heavy week. They've not done any art stuff yet. So eventually, I think it's today, isn't it? So the period three and four, they're going to start learning art, and that will fly up. So I have no concerns with that at all. That's all going to be fine, he says, possibly overly confidently. We'll find out very soon. Oh yeah, look at that. They've had one art lesson, and already it's gone up to 63, 73 out of 100. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, right, that event has ended. And the others aren't even at their location yet. So, okay, that's good. And, um, yeah, we got... Ooh, we got a teaching handbook. Okay, that's good. And 26 people are happy, which is very good. Yay. I mean, yeah, that's ticking up. 82, 94 of the 99 students are now expected to pass. And we're only just halfway through. Right, everyone's going to pass. Everyone's going to pass. The game was just scaring us earlier with that thing where it was going, oh, you might have some failures because now they're just all going to pass with flying colours and it's going to be fine. So, yep, okay, confirm that as well. That's good. Could we do some more training? Is it worth just chucking some more people onto some training for the sake of doing some training because it just makes them a bit better? Um, Jessica Taylor, you could do management training. Why not? That'll do. Um, and then, yeah, over here, let's just get some more people doing some training. I mean, you're all idle. But I kind of feel like we should get the homeroom teachers. I mean, management proficiency, two grand for Miss Lynn. But you're, you're, a, you're a, a, you know, a staunch supporter of the school. You've been with us since the very beginning. So do you know what? That's okay. You're worth two grand, Miss Lynn. Let's just go and get everybody else doing some training as well. Let's get you know, another three people in here doing some good learning. Okay, brand new day rolls around. And I think we're about to get ourselves yet another pet. Absolutely. Uh, that one's called Prince. Um, yeah, do you know, why not? Let's keep it. Why not? If that's on the collar or whatever, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's get this team to their first kind of interaction point on their trip. Let's see what we can do with that, because that's going to do something. Right, here we go. Uh, what kind of show is going to be put on? Poetry, fun experiment, cantata, which is art, that's what we want, or military boxing. Okay, we'll do a cantata. We'll do that, please. Um, and yeah, they're ready to step onto the stage. 20 of them happy. And we get 40 art contribution points. Okay, that's going to be well worth it. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, that's good already. That was very quick. Um, right, 100 more points. 3,600 monies. Okay, that's very welcome indeed. Over 6,000 now. And I think with that done, I think with that done, we will finish things up for now. Because I think we have done quite a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, I think we can come back next time. We have got some quite exciting stuff that we could look at. And really, I'm thinking we need to somehow factor in how we can build our first wonder. I'm not quite sure which one we go for because they're all quite good. I would like to get them all in. I mean, that's, that's all on one floor. I thought they're all going to be big and complicated. That's all on one floor. We could get, we could get that in over there. We could put that in right there. Okay, right, that's exciting. The observatory is... Oh my word, that's... Okay, that's gigantic. 
but that would oh, would that fit there that would not fit perfectly there but you know what i'm sure i could cope with it oh that's exciting okay right that's good i just thought it was all kind of all three tier things like that but no they're all different so maybe next time we get our impressionism gallery in and that might help the art students pick up some more art points that's exciting okay so we can do that next time We'll get that sorted. And also, we will build a computer room as well. I think we'll get one of those over there. Just get that in. And then, yeah, maybe get some other bits and bobs in that we haven't got just yet. Because there's probably some other stuff as well. There is the, um, what it was, the projection room. So that could go in down here, possibly. And then we need to work on that just there. That's sort of a bland area. So sort that out. Make that look quite nice. Get something over here, maybe. Get some toilets down here or whatever. And just kind of maybe start working on this floor. I kind of forget we have that floor because we spend so much time down here looking at this, this sort of does get overlooked a little bit. So maybe we'll try and sort this floor out a bit as well, and you know, expand it out a bit, and, you know, make it a bit bigger, and just try to make it a little bit more lived in, possibly. But yeah, we'll do all that when we come back next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh look, they're having a lovely time around the campfire and we're about to ruin that for everybody. You're a fast learner. Oh, you're a killer. <laughs> Get You're killing the sheep. <gasps> this is an outrage. And there we go. Horst has finished his snowman. She's gone. Gisela has lost consciousness. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to end well, is it?